Welcome back, Helldivers. A lot is going on right now in the Helldivers 2 world, and so I wanted to do just a quick coverage of what's going on. The main thing is the Helldivers 2 account linking update, so let's read this real quick. Due to technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the linking requirements for Steam accounts to PlayStation Network's account to be temporarily optional. That grace period will now expire. Account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studio games. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in this type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned to write the appeal. As such, as of May 6th, all new Helldiver 2 players on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Currently, players on Steam will start to see the mandatory login from May 30th and will be required to have linked a Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. We understand that while this may be an inconvenience to some of you, this step will help us to continue to build a community that you are all proud to be a part of. Sony Interactive Entertainment. Okay, so I have another article up here from IGN that covers this topic. Obviously, there's a lot of drama going on here. People are not happy, uh, those who play on PC, that you now have to link your account to a PSN account. Uh, just for some guidelines here, I play on console, so this doesn't directly affect me, but as a part of the community, uh, it, it overall does. Uh, secondly, a PSN account does not cost any money. If you think it does, that's actually the PlayStation Plus subscription. That's something totally different. So the issue is really just that you have to link your account to another account. Now, most PC games that were console exclusives, see if these is a great example from Microsoft Studios, you need a Microsoft account. So first off, this issue is really, at least in my opinion, not an issue to take to Arrowhead. This is an issue with games media and games entertainment in general. The fact that you need all these different launchers and logins and whatnot. So I think that's a that's a bigger issue that should not land on Arrowhead Studios. It's really not anything that they can control. It's not great. It's almost become standardized, which doesn't mean we have to like it. I don't like it. I don't like having thousands of different launchers when I had a PC a while ago. You know, I, I purchased a game on Steam. I want to play it on Steam. But that's a different topic. That's a different fight to have with different people. It, it is a part of this discussion, but I'm not going to go too much into it. The other issue is that PSN is not available in all regions. So some people who already have the game on PC are facing some issues because they have to get a PSN account now, but that network is not available in their area. So they're kind of losing out on the game. Right here we have a tweet from the CEO of Arrowhead. He says, hey everyone, in regards to account linking and questions, Please refer to uh, this link right here. If you have any further questions, you can reach out using the contact PlayStation support at the bottom of the page. IGN here continues and said anyone with any questions should reach out to Sony using the contact PlayStation support button at the bottom of the page. Boss of Helldivers 2 developer Arrowhead has pointed out, has pointed fans angered by today's account linking news directly at PlayStation support suggesting that they get in touch with Sony rather than the studio. I think this is really important. This is obviously something that Sony is doing. That doesn't mean that Arrowhead, uh, their hands are clean. I mean, nobody's perfect, but I think the main anger and the main frustration should be pointed towards Sony. The biggest issue I have with this is not the fact that these accounts need to be linked. The fact is that it's three months out. I know the game started with lots of issues, and they probably couldn't put this together in time because they were working on servers and whatnot, but it would have been better if the studio had come out and said, hey, this is coming up, we're gonna have to do this, this is a requirement on our end to keep the game going, this is coming up in the future, please be aware before you make a purchase. It says, scan the QR code or press the button below to begin linking your accounts from Steam and PlayStation Network. Linking your Steam account to PlayStation Network account is required for playing the game. This is a message that my brother who plays on PC did get. He did end up linking his account, so obviously there's some back and forth in the community as to if this was really enough uh, to do. It does say down here to skip. There is a skip button. Even though it says the account is required for playing the game, you can see why most people would click skip and just never think about it again. 
A big voice in the YouTube and streaming area is Pirate Software. I actually really enjoy his content myself. He says, not happening. Removing access from Steam players unless they make a PSN account and link it months after the release is absurd. Review change to negative and I have filed for a refund. Here it says, Arrowhead community managers are currently putting out fires across the Helldivers Discord, which is packed with comments about today's announcement. Responding to one player who asked the very reasonable question how this makes Helldivers too safer, community manager Baskinator explains Sony has a dedicated team, a ban appeal process, and tools that take action on player reports. And it's all connected to having a PSN ID. In another post, Baskinator added it, being Helldivers, is Sony's IP, so it makes sense that they'd want to use the tools they developed for these things. Later they go on to say, well, we always knew this day would get here, and it's going about how I expected. I'm actually happy for us to be able to take action against player reports and make the game safer across the board personally. This I can understand from a developer standpoint, but from a community and player standpoint, we don't really have the most trust in Sony when it comes to safety and security. They are notorious for having their information leaked, and I don't know much about the anti-cheat software debate when the game first came out, that it uses a certain system. Again, somebody else here on the platform will be able to tell you more about that accurately, but I do know that it was a big concern when the game first launched. So, overall, what do I think? Well, again, first off, this doesn't really impact me a whole lot. I, I play on console. This isn't going to be something that's an issue for me. But here are my main points. Sadly, it is common that you have to have another account to play a game that you buy on Steam. I don't think that's right. I think that's very frustrating and it's a barrier to entry. I don't think that's Arrowhead's issue though. I don't think it's their fault. So they don't need to be blamed for that. Sony is the main one here who's requiring this. I think most of the blame and issues should be taken with them. That being said, I do understand it from the other side as a PC player that three months later after buying the game, when you can't get a refund, you're now required to do something else. And that thing that you're required to do may not even be able to be done in the territory that you live in. So in that case, I'm kind of on the fence here. I get both, both sides. On one side, I think, well, just make the PSN account. Most all games have that on PC. But at the same time, that's not something that affects me. And I can think, you know, if I did have a PC, that'd be really annoying. I don't want a Uplay account and a Microsoft account and an EA account. I really don't. It's really annoying. It's really frustrating. Just let me play the game. At the side of laying all your anger at Arrowhead, I don't think that's fair. I think some frustration can be set with them. I think that's reasonable. They're the ones who made the product. But I do think that the majority of the hate should be going to Sony. I'm going to keep playing the game. Again, not just because it doesn't affect me. If I was on PC, I would create a PSN account and keep playing the game. I enjoy the game. I want to support the developers. But let me know what you think. Put down in the comments your thoughts on this situation. Let's keep it civil. Let's keep it friendly. <laughs> we can all agree or disagree or have different opinions. That's what I love about this platform is hearing from other people and seeing what they think. Sometimes you guys say stuff down there and I think, you know what, I didn't think of it that way. So tell me what I missed. Tell me what you think. And let's see how this thing turns out. And don't forget to go spread democracy.